Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is? You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now we got some news from the heavyweight division. You know, we're a little bit disappointed with the heavyweight division because we can't get an undisputed fight. We were so close to it, man. Tyson Fury versus Alexander Uzik, close to it. Tyson Fury messing around talking about Alexander Uzik should take 30%. And he was going to do it, and then it was some more some stuff came up. You know, I told you it wasn't going to happen because Tyson Fury was involved. But Alexander Uzik seems to never have problems with the uh, negotiations until now. Right? Alexander Uzik said, okay, I took your stuff, so forget the undisputed. We can't do it. So, you know, he said, I'm going to fight mandatory. Now, the WBA, who, you know, I raised my eyebrows too, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But the WBA said, okay, cool. We got a regular champion in uh, Dubois, Daniel Dubois. Right, because he beat Trevor Bryant. So he's a regular champion since about eight months. Right, so they say, okay, well, you can fight uh, our mandatory from because the, the regular champion is turns into the mandatory because they're trying to consolidate them belts so they don't have too many for the WBA for one champion. Right, instead of having a champion, which is Uzik, and a regular champion, two, two people running around talking about their champions. So they finally trying to get that together in all the divisions except the one I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Now, what happens? Uh, they're negotiating for the fight and it seems like the negotiations didn't go down right, right? So what's going down is they're going to have a purse bid going up. And the purse bid is the purse bid is uh, going down and what's going to happen is uh, it didn't work out so well. So now, um, you know, they had negotiations. The purse bid didn't go down well and now they're going to I'm, I'm saying it wrong. Let me get it right for y'all. They were negotiating for the fight, and the negotiations didn't go well. So now they're gonna have a purse bid, right? And the purse bid goes down like this. The champion gets 75, the mandatory or regular, in this case, gets 25. Right, you got it? Seemed like I didn't have it, right? I'm trying to talk to y'all, and don't got it his damn self. So that's what's going down. So now they're gonna have a purse bid. But here's the, something that's going down here. Daniel Dubois is gonna split from his trainer, all right? Sean McGuigan, he's gonna split from his trainer, and he's having some knee issues, which means he's probably not going to take that fight. If you get a new trainer, you're probably not going to want to go straight into messing with Alexander Uzik, especially being somebody as, uh, how you say, straightforward as Daniel Dubois, not so, uh, not so good of a mover. You're probably not going to want to go in there and mess with Alexander Uzik. In comes Deontay Wilder, who's the number two by the WBA. And I know De Deontay Wilder will take that fight in a heartbeat. So Deontay Wilder is, is possible, right? to take that fight with Alexander Uzik. So let's see what happens uh, if Deontay Wilder and Alexander Uzik can happen. We've been hearing it before. We've also been hearing Deontay Wilder and, uh, and uh, Anthony Joshua going down in December in Saudi Arabia, supposedly. But I think that Deontay Wilder would probably take this championship fight if it did present itself because, damn it, it's a championship fight. Let's see what happens with that. There's a, there's a good possibility. That's why I mentioned it to you guys because I don't think Daniel Dubois is going to take the fight against Alexander Uzik under those uh, stipulations. You know, I think it's going down. I got a truck coming by here, so it's going to probably get a little bit loud, right? So don't worry about that. It is what it is when you do these spontaneous videos anywhere you at, right? I told you guys I'm in rehabilitation, right? So I'm, you know, doing my little therapy every day. So, you know, sometimes I try to do stuff wherever the hell I am, and I don't care who walking by or whatever happening. I just do it. You know what I'm saying? It is. So it is. You know, it ain't going to get edited. It's gonna get, you're going to hear that truck. That's what's going to happen. But here's another thing, right? They'll be trying to consolidate these belts, right? They're mandating this stuff, right, in the heavyweight division. But if I told you again, 168-pound division, they ain't mandating nothing because that's what Canelo has been as the WBA champion. And the, and the uh, regular champion is David Morrell who's the baddest one out there. It's probably their baddest regular champion that they have is David Morrell. And they just won't seem to mandate Canelo to fight him. Now, here's the deal. He's been, he's been a cha uh, champion about two years, David Morrell, the regular champion. Da uh, your boy Daniel Dubois, what, about eight months? If that, I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm just winging it here. But it ain't no damn two years. But no one, no one says that Canelo has to fight David Morrell. The WBA, that's why it's skeptical for me. Right, if either you're consolidating all your damn belts, Canelo's too, or you're not. David Morrell is the baddest one. I heard that Canelo messed around and even said, somebody would say, hey man, you gonna fight David Morrell anytime soon? He tried to say who, right? He tried to say who is David Morrell. Now he's in your damn division. He's the baddest one in it and you know he is, 
It's between him and David Benavides, right? And you're going to say who? He's been the champion for two years, and Canelo was allowed to say who? That's damn near as, as bad as saying uh, Demetrius Andrade is a horrible fighter, but I'm on my way to fight Yildirim, and I asked to fight Macabu, right? In the same sentence, Canelo will do that right away. Demetrius Andrade is horrible, but uh, Yildirim deserves it. He'll say that right in one sentence. He doesn't wait weeks. That's how much how, how he, he knows about how people roll, because they don't want him to fight nobody hard. So yeah, uh, my point is, the WBA is going to probably mandate, is mandated this fight in the heavyweight division, but they're not mandated in the 168-pound division. But be that as it may, De uh, Deontay Wilder could possibly get a fight against Alexander Uzik sometime soon here. So let's keep our eye on that. What you think? Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.